And it's just what you mean? She's a bad thing Fine as hell Thick as fuck Oh my god That's my baby Caroline You did fine Mighty fine Shorty really know the price Like a bull Hey y'all Welcome back to my channel I am Asia. If this is your first time here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to leave your comments down below. We're going to hop right into it and get into one of my guilty pleasures, which is Amazon. Now, I've seen a lot of Amazon favorites videos, of course, because I'm an Amazon shopper and I'm always looking for more things to buy. And with that being said, I wanted to break mine up into categories and sections. So this is going to be my Amazon kitchen favorites, as you can see by the title. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my silverware holder. This one I'm obsessed with. I think it came, comes in other colors, but I got the gray because I love gray and I have silver, um, silver wear, silver, silver silverware. <laughs> Um, what I really like about this is that it's vertical and not horizontal. You know, what you're used to seeing is the little flat lay ones that lay across the drawer. I like that this one lays to one side of the drawer because it gives you so much more space. I will show you guys a video clip of it inside my drawer here. Mm -hmm. And I just really like that it compacts all of my silverware. And another thing that I think is really cool about it is that it's labeled. I don't know if you guys can see here as I stab myself in the face. Um, it has the forks, knives, um, spoons all labeled. And then even up here, it has butter knife and sharp knives, like little impressions in here. So I, even though I can see the bottom, you would think that would make it complicated. But no, everything is labeled. And usually it looks very nice to me, but because I've been holding it, it's all mixed up. But yeah, you can know what you're getting even without seeing the tops of your silverware. So yeah, love this. The next thing I have is this spray bottle. This like kitchen spray bottle that has like the ounces and stuff on here. What I really love about this is that it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And what I keep inside of this is a bleach solution it's like bleach and vinegar just to clean the countertops and to clean um like the stove top and like clean my cabinets off clean the front of the stove off it's just like a, a disinfectant mixture that i probably got off tiktok y'all but i really like that the way that this looks the fact that it's like glass and it's not a label or anything i sit this on top of my counter i have one in my living room as well that has fabric spray on it just to spray the um the couch and the blankets and all that stuff but i like that i'm able to sit these out because they look you know fancy they're glass they're sturdy and it came in a pack of two so yeah really like these the next thing are these plastic containers um, a few of the lids are in here. I just grabbed one that was unused. It comes in three, yes, three different sizes. There's one that's, um, oh, I lied, four different sizes. There's one that's like a big rectangle. There's one that's like half the size of this. And then there's a tiny one. I'm going to show you guys a video of my cabinets what acts as my like pantry and like snack holding area it's filled with only these i like to be able to see my snacks see my food um it really helps me with grocery shopping and it also is super helpful with recycling because i like after i go grocery shopping as y'all saw in my last video i put all of my things away and i immediately take the recycling to the recycling in bulk so i'm not taking things one by one and it makes it easier for me to not just throw it in the trash because it's just one thing it's always a group of things i really like these i think i have two sets of these and as you can see they're definitely in use so yeah this is a favorite sticking in the realm of containers i really like 
these. I love these. I like the way they look in my refrigerator. This one is new. I just got it. I had a smaller one, but um, I ordered two larger ones. I had two smaller ones. Um, and I just really like the way that these look. I like to have my juice like in front of me. I know exactly how much juice I have. It's just so nice to look at. It's nice to just not have the containers just sitting there different size containers it's more of a visual <laughs> it's definitely more of a visual thing but it also like i said helps with the recycling and it helps with me seeing how much of something that i have i'm more likely to remember if i need it on the way home from the grocery store because i can actually see the liquid inside of here and then um i like to mix my matcha up for the week i do matcha juice so it's like a mixture of pineapple juice or orange juice and then the matcha or pineapple juice lime juice matcha however i mix it apple juice matcha which i, I put matcha in everything so i'll make it at the beginning of the week and then i can just pour me a glass out of here i don't have to worry about making a self-serving size even though i do make self-servings on occasion and often, as you'll see with another one of my favorites. The next thing is this silicone, um, like, crumb stopper, y'all. I don't know the exact name of it, but it is tagged down below. You put it on the side of your stove to stop um, crumbs and dirt and dust and stuff falling in between your stove so you don't have to move your stove and like sweep it and clean and all that you don't have to do all that it's like it's there it's gonna stop it and i'm in an apartment so i do have that little gap between my counter and my stove and i saw this on pinterest and i had to get it i was like where has this been all my life i've been needed this i've been needed this so i ordered it immediately and it's giving ipad energy you know like you didn't know you needed it but then when you had it you were like how was i living without this yes so as i was saying earlier i do sometimes like to do self servings of my juices and when it comes to matcha and the little like matcha packets like the self-serving size packets of matcha they clump up so much y'all it's ridiculous and i feel like if you don't have this if you have to resort to putting it in a blender every time and like cleaning a blender like that's that's a lot so i really like this it's like a frother but i use it as like my matcha blender i do froth my milk sometimes but it's very rare um that i drink coffee i'm not really a coffee drinker so i was on matcha you know before the girls was on matcha and it's just you know it does what it's supposed to do it's battery operated they do have ones that you can charge but i didn't realize it was battery operated until after i bought it we're gonna move on <laughs> but yeah i really like this and i think you should get it girl i think you need it period these last two items are really going to show my southern hospitality baby it's really gonna give southern girl so let's talk about it <laughs> real country the first thing is a butter crock um i cleaned it out so i could show y'all what it looks like this is basically when you have like instead of having a butter dish that you sit out um a lot of people for me like a lot of grown people i haven't seen any young people do this but they have like a butter dish that's out for when you want just like soft butter soft margarine and i really like soft butter and soft margarine i don't always want like cold butter or like i gotta warm it up to make it soft. i don't want to do all that so i found this butter crock i think it's a great um option outside of a butter dish Personally, I feel like this keeps my butter fresher for a little bit longer. And even though when oxygen hits the butter and it kind of changes color a little bit, that doesn't affect the taste of the butter. I still don't like to see it. So this keeps it from having that discoloration. 
and it's cute and it's black and it says butter on it and it comes with a little like knife to scoop it out and I don't ever have any problem with the freshness of my butter. It fits an entire stick of butter but I only put a half a stick in there um, because I like to wash it at the end of every use so a half a stick I usually run through a half a stick of butter by the end of the week so um and I use vegan butter so you know that it's safe to put vegan butter in here I think that it's perfect I wash it at the end of every week you don't necessarily have to but I do and then the last thing is my crock pot oh you sound like you slow I love why did I just call this a crock pot <laughs> a cast iron skillet y'all I think I'm just hungry this is my cast iron skillet it's an Amazon basics cast iron skillet it was extremely inexpensive it works just like you know your grandma's cast iron and I had to season it and all that stuff just like a cast iron it's like a regular cast iron skillet I think it's great because I bought other cast iron skillets that were not good quality I even bought the expensive um who is that lady who makes cookbooks and stuff? What's her name? What's her name? She's like real Southern. And she had that TV show with Snoop Dogg and she went to jail. Well, prison. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna put a picture of her right there when it comes to me. But um, yeah, I bought her crock pot and her crock pot was trash. Like it was actually terrible. So I got this one to replace that one. And this one is amazing. It's nonstick. My boyfriend has made steak in here. I have done shrimp and chicken in here. And I am obsessed. Like I love it. Also, before anybody asks, like, yes, I have a boyfriend. Yes, I'm single. Like that's the answer. But yeah, anyways, this is my crock pot and I love it. And that is it. That's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If y'all want to see more videos like this, comment down below and let me know. I think we should do home decor next or maybe we should do like bedroom. I like bedroom essentials. Hmm. Y'all let me know. I will do whatever y'all want. I mean, both are going to happen, but which, what do y'all want to see more? Thank y'all again for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. All the links are down in the description box. The storefront is there. It's updated. It's ready and willing. Follow me everywhere. Stay up to date on all the stuff I spend my money on. So you can know whether you need to spend your money on me too, sweetie. Bye.